anti-swan neck orthosis using the pinching method. Here we will demonstrate how to fabricate an orthosis to prevent hyperextension of the PIP joint, also known as the swan neck deformity. The purpose is to prevent hyperextension of the PIP joint in the swan neck deformity. Use a strip of Orphicast 6 cm wide and 10 to 12 cm long. Fold the piece in half. Place the Orphicast on the palmar surface of the finger and pinch together on the dorsal surface. Make sure to cover the entire length of the proximal and middle phalanges to the DIP joint of the finger. Cut away any excess material. Maintain the finger in 30 degrees flexion. This can be controlled with a small finger joniometer. Once the orphicast has hardened, remove it from the finger. Trim away the dorsal part of the PIP joint with scissors. Do this generously to allow full flexion. Trim the orphicast from the distal dorsal surface almost to the flexion crease of the PIP joint. Repeat from the proximal volar surface almost to the flexion crease of the PIP joint, leaving about 5 mm of material covering the flexion crease of the PIP joint. Heat the material covering the flexion crease of the PIP joint with a heat gun and slightly pinch together. The orthosis can now be fitted onto the patient's finger. The orthosis should allow almost full flexion but prevent hyperextension of the PIP joint. <laughs>